The 2013 Race to Dubai International Schedule begins with one of the world's great iconic figures as our host. Yes, the inaugural Nelson Mandela Championship takes the European tour to Durban on South Africa's east coast. While the challenge for the tour officials was to get play underway at all after huge deluges of rain and electric storms caused the event to be shortened to 36 holes. A Herculean effort by a combination of ground staff and club members did the trick. The rain eventually relented, the Sunshine Tour finally lived up to its name and play got underway on Saturday morning, with a normal par 70 reduced to just 65. The altered layout now featuring eight par threes due to some still waterlogged ground. Players like Scott Jameson trying to win their first event and with shots like that. Jameson, who was a rookie in 2011, five top tens then. Finished 53rd on the race to Dubai last season. Oh, hello. Oh, he loved that one. In for the birdie. One against the head miss. There. Jameson. If he knocks this in and birdies the last, I'll take him to eight under par. Turn. Go on. Oh, it's turned too much. See that dark patch of grass short the hole, the grain into him there that's altered the line. But with his length, he can reach the ninth with his tee shot, and he might have a go. Well, De La Riva's 18th hole struggle ended with a bogey five, so that gives Webster some hope of a first win in five years. They share the clubhouse lead on seven under. Scott Jameson has one more chance to catch them. He's on the ninth tee. Tim Clark yet to go out at five under. Musical accompaniment too. Does that aid your rhythm, John, do you think? What a shot this is. Well, he's that for an eagle too. And that could be the biggest putt of his life. Everyone is so grateful that we've got at least the play finished on Sunday, or will have it finished, barring any storms coming in again. Collective fingers crossed as Jameson oh, just misses out with the eagle at the ninth. Good pace. Yeah, and uh, believe it or not, around 57. That's reversal of fortunes. One over par, 66 on day one. 57, day two, look at that back nine. Lowest round ever on tour, but unfortunately it won't count because they've had to jiggle the course around a little bit. But a brilliant performance, and you'll have to wait to see if it's good enough. Any good. After a strange yeah. all day then on the Royal Durban course inside the Grayville racetrack, we have a dead heat with Messrs Webster, 57-man Jameson and De La Riva playing off in the gathering dusk. Back to the 18th tee, they go, John. Yes. Well, he's gone up the tenth again, which is amazing. Two hundred yards to go. Bunker. He's pulled this surely. Well, if he gets a flat line, the bunker. Go on, get get on the flat. Well, that's not too bad from there. Well, we might be a little bit on the on the down slope, but strange shot to go up ten again. This is the conventional way. First playoff hole, Jameson. Sudden death. Remember. drive good angle lovely tempo this guy's gonna win in the future even if he doesn't in this tournament that's okay it's a tough drive that 18 because the whole swings around to the left and it's very narrow and then there's a pile of trees on the left hand side they're sort of like palms that's nearly 12 hours since this guy teed off this morning isn't it Yes, he's probably had a power nap or watch a bit of football or something, but he's a chance to stick one in here. De La Riva in the bunker. Oh, when you lean left, you're trying to help it back. Oh, he's going to get an idea off Scott's putt here. We're a bit tight for light, to be honest. Yes, the cloud's rolling in. 
So glad they got this tournament finished though. The inaugural Nelson Mandela Championship presented by ISPS Handa. Now then, face laid wide open, third shot for De La Riva. Got to get it close. No, he's not dropped the club into the back of the ball. That's come out with top spin. And De La Riva, who bogeyed the 18th in regular time, he just want to do it again now. Jameson for what could be the title win. Webster still to putt, remember. Good for pace. Oh, nice try. Well, it's been a long time coming for Steve Webster. I wonder if he can claim another European Tour title right here. Five years since his last win in Portugal. Well, he's had a good read there. Look at him exhaling there just to try and take the tension out of him. Self. I should move a little bit from right to left. I've got an idea of the pace off Scott. And he's getting a nice good pub. Go on. Go on. Oh, oh. really? Perfect for line. Oh, I can't believe it. Of course, De La Riva needs to putt for his par. If he misses, he's out of this. And my reckoning is, if they go back, which they're obviously going to do, they might struggle after that from a light point of view. Thought he had it. It was in all the way until it didn't reach. Now then, long par putt. This, in golfing terms, to stay alive. Pablo Larathabel's out watching this playoff, supporting De La Riva, but he's going to take no more part in it. So the three became two. As Eduardo de la Riva says adios. There we are, the clubhouse lights are on. Getting dark. Well, he's going with the driver again. This is a brave tee shot. Up the right hand side, you get blocked out. Up the left, there's thick rough and it's wet. It is preferred lies, of course. And that, you couldn't have placed that any better. There's those bushes I said on the left hand side that you don't want to be messing around with. Not too many trees on this course. That was intentional when the course was built. So you could still see the racetrack. That was the idea. Now, uh, Webby. That looked a pretty good swing as well. Do you like that one, John? I think it's a bit left, this. Oh, now it's all on the line. Now it's bounced, so... There might be casual water at the left-hand side, but even if you're going to drop it, the thing is, it's just going to sit down in that elephant grass and we'll see. Well, wandering up, chatting away. Everything's well with the world. There's Pablo consoling his compatriot. What's going on here, then? Well, it must be casual. I can't see how the ball is embedded, but Scott Jameson's I'm taking no notice. Keeping composed, keeping focused. Second shot. Maintaining that lovely rhythm. Does he like it? Well, pretty much. Staying away from the danger on the left, the bunker. Well, I think that's all he had to do there, really, was find the green where Steve is, up the left-hand side. I mean, he's a strong lad, but he has had a free drop. This could go anywhere. Coming right down the grip on the club there. Oh dear, oh dear, stay in bounds. Is it in bounds? Well, there's a picket fence I can see through the tree there. It must have hit that because if it hasn't, there is out of bounds over the other side of that, so. That's on the putting green, isn't it? It's gonna be interesting where he drops it if he is in bounds. My goodness, what drama. Late on, very late on. 
is Neil Briggs, the European tour official, was a good player himself, Neil. Many a battle with him. Battle of words these days, eh? Now then. Webster looking grim-faced. That'll be a free drop then, John? Free drop because of the picket fence, yep. And where he has dropped it, he's got about a foot to pitch this, to be honest. A little bank short of the green comes towards him. It's not going to jump up that. He needs to pitch right on the edge of the green. Oh, he's unlucky there. Oh. What, another foot? Oh, not even that. Yeah, he can't believe it. So that's three for Webster. Jameson's had two on the green. Two pots, you never know. Does he really go for it? Or does he lag it? Got to try and hold it. He's confused. The lag option, I think. Mm. That's sensible. So he'll mark, he'll wait. And quite simply, Webster has to hold this left or righter. It's been a rain-interrupted tournament. Are we about to get a winner as the light fades? Oh, good effort, Steve. You've been robbed. Tough. Playoffs are always tough. You have to have a winner and a loser. In this case, we've got two of them. Losers, that is. Steve Webster, Eduardo de la Riva, and the stage is left clear for the final shot of the week. And this is going to be a two-year exemption because it gets the whole of 2013, which season we are in now, even though it's still 2012, and the following year. So it's kind of a two-year exemption, and he is the champion. A new Scottish brave heart on the scene, following the footsteps of people like Paul Laurie, and Sam Torrance over the years. Well, it took a couple of extra holes to separate the three leaders after an exciting final day, but it's the maiden winner, Scott Jameson, who stood tallest when it mattered, John. Yeah, absolutely. Tough day, tough week. But we have a winner, and the 2013 season's underway, albeit rain-interrupted. You know, starting the day, I probably didn't I think I'd be standing here holding the trophy, um, but I, you know I, I knew I needed a fast start, and I was lucky enough to get that. And then, um, yeah, just kept plodding along, and then an exciting finish there. The brand new race to device standings reflect the result of the event, which has kick-started the 2013 season in unusual but very thrilling style. Jameson, a new winner in a brand new event that bears the name of one of the world's greatest statesmen. 29-year-old Scott Jameson proudly holds aloft the very distinctive trophy.